I am Alba and this is the Rebel Report for April 30th. Seniors, please turn in all your pictures for the gargoyle issue to this email address and here's Dorian with more. Do you have baby pictures? Do you have embarrassing pictures of yourself as a youngin? Well, guess what? If you say no, we know you're lying. Send all your pictures to SouthSeniors2015 at gmail.com. The South Gargoyle is doing a feature on seniors for their last issue. So if you want to be featured, send your pictures to SouthSeniors2015 at gmail.com. Don't make us regret this. If any of you guys are interested in buying the Culture Fest DVD, please go see Mr. Cole in room 256. It's only for $5. Hey you guys, did you guys know last winter we had a boxing champion, Christian Escobedo? Well this semester we have another boxing champion and she is the Colorado Golden Glove title holder. Her name is Gemma Breslin, so you go girl. And yeah, maybe sometime you can teach me some boxing tips. Well congratulations to Gemma and good luck on your future endeavors. Go knock them out. I just want to say congratulations to our FBLA chapter here at South. We just competed in state in Vail and we had a great time. If you have any interest in business, we would love to have you join the FBLA group here. And also next coming up, the um, business entrepreneurship class has a huge presentation next week, Wednesday, May 6th. It is in our auditorium from 7 to 9 p.m. Please join us. Our students have uh, worked on a service learning project and they will be presenting that night, May 6th. Thank you. And you can come support our project by going to the bake sale in the front lawn after school. All items will be 50 cents and two for one dollar. Are any of you interested in working for the DPS construction internship? If you're a junior and senior and will be 17th by June 8th and you have a car with insurance, tag them with the information in the screen. If you're a graduating senior and looking for a job, there will be a job fair Friday, May 8th. Those jobs include Plumber Local Number 3, Chipotle, Corrado Sheet Metal Workers, Southwest Airlines, and more. You must be 18 or older by June. You must have a high school diploma or GED. Contact Mr. Brennan with this email on the screen. There's a summer reading program right around the corner. Here's stack for more. So hey Dorsin, I heard about volunteering opportunities to help kids read books. Can you tell me a little about that? Oh yeah, uh, they're just looking for uh, students who can volunteer to help uh, read uh, books to children. And uh, it will be here on May 13th from 10 a.m. to 12. Yeah. Oh, oh I forgot. Can you tell me where? Oh, let me show you where it is. Alright. So you see John, it will be here. In at the library 201. Oh, 201. Okay. Yes. There's only a few yearbooks left, so go ahead and get yours before the distribution will be May 12th. And if you're interested in creating the yearbook, please turn in your applications by tomorrow to Miss Stringer. And now for one of our favorites, the Teacher Throwback Thursday. All right, what's up, Rebels? It's Miller here, and we're doing another Teacher Throwback Thursday. Let's see if you can guess who it is this week. This teacher wrestled in high school and college. This teacher is never, ever, 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 ever wrong. And their favorite food is kale salad. It is Dilworth. That's it for this week. Let's try again next week. And now for some sports. Here's Zach with the Special Olympics. Special Olympics. On the first day, we had the elementary schools come in. Uh, it was down a little bit because we normally have over 20 schools show up, but due to some transportation issues, we only ended up with about six schools participating on the first day. Uh, we had a great group, though. They enjoyed their time. Uh, my volunteers, they did a great job with these kids. Uh, one of our mottos is, Every kid gets a smile and a ribbon, and they carried that out to the fullest. Uh, on the second day, we had all the middle school and high school um, kids come in. Uh, we had anywhere from the 100 meter dash to the 60 meter dash to the long jump. We even had shot put. We had uh, the softball throw, 
And at the end, we had relay races in the 4x100 relays, which the kids absolutely love. Uh, what makes it fun is that the kids enjoy it and they talk about it all year long. Here are some sport recaps starting with soccer. Girls soccer has had a great season so far and are 9-3. and three. They're on a seven game winning streak and won in overtime against JFK. The score was 3-2 and the goals were scored by Nicole, Sophie, and Anna. They're number one in the DPL league, ranked number 20th in 4A state and made playoffs from May 6th. They don't know who they're playing yet, but make sure you come out and support them. South Track and Field competed in the Ram Charger invite last weekend, securing additional spots for state qualification. For individual boy competitors, Malcolm Wright has qualified for state in the 100 and 200 meter sprint races, while Saria Poole has qualified in the 200. Marcus Steiner has also qualified for state in the 400 meter race. The boys relay teams have also been on fire. Oh, our relay teams are doing great. We have um, the 4x100, four, four people run the 100, and uh, has um, Marcus Steiner, Malcolm Wright, James Hardy, and um, Sheree Poole. And right now they're like in the top 10 of state. And then we have the 4x200 with the um, same people. And right now they're about 16th, 15th in state, but it's gonna go down. And then we got the 4x400 with uh, me, Marcus Steiner, Malcolm Wright, and uh, Isaiah Gandy. And we're 11th in the state so far, and we're just going to keep on dominating DPS in state. Outstanding performances for the girls team were Armani Porti in the 100 meters, Madison Moore for the 200, and freshman Eve DeLeon in the 2 mile run. South girls also placed in the 4x200 relay with Madison Moore, Kayla Ray, Alejandra Torres, and Alexis Rowland. Saturday, the teams go to the Cherry Creek Invitational, and the following week is the league championships on Thursday, May 7th, and Saturday, May 9th at All City Stadium. Everyone is invited to come watch these elite athletes compete. What's up, guys? This is our Honor Athlete Lunch today at the gym lobby. Did you guys know that last year we had 125 Honor Athlete students? Since then, it's gone up to 185 Honor Athlete students. But in order to be an honor athlete student, your GPA needs to be 3.5 or better. So don't forget guys, it's today at lunch in the gym lobby and there will be lunch, raffles, prizes, and a group photo. There's going to be a health fair here at South next week. Here are the days. Good morning Rebels. We're here to talk about the health fair next week. It's the Rebel Health Fair. It's going to be every day at lunchtime, right after testing, out on the front lawns. We're going to have a variety of games and activities, all promoting different types of health activities. Maeve, what's going to happen next week? So on Monday, we have Tobacco Awareness Day. On Tuesday, we're going to talk about the importance of mood. On Wednesday, we're going to talk about self-image. On Thursday, we're going to talk about sleep and the importance of it. And on Friday, we're going to talk about the importance of exercise. Exercise. Hope to see you next week at the Rebel Health Fair. Monday is my day and we're going to be talking about smoking, including marijuana and tobacco awareness. Hope to see you there. So Wednesday will be Positive Self-Image Day because it's important for all of us to accept ourselves just the way we are. And one of the things we'll be talking about, I think on Thursday, is the importance of sleep. Sleep is critical in terms of our mood, how we get along with others, whether we're irritable or not, and it's important in terms of um, just our work effort, if we have energy. Good morning, Rebels. Today, during Happy Healthy Rebel Week, we are gonna talk about exercise. And exercise is really important for a variety of different reasons. One, it can help you be in better moods because your endorphins are increased and endorphins make you happy, like Reese Witherspoon said in Legally Blonde. It's true, it really is. It can help you uh, sleep better. You can prevent uh, certain health conditions and diseases by exercising. It can also give you more energy. So Rebels, be there. We should have some fun stuff for us to do. Seniors, if you still need your caps and gowns, go see Ms. Chesley in the office. And here's a quick prom recap. So last Saturday, April 25th was our prom. It was at the Soil Dove Underground in Lowry. And I would say that people were dressed pretty fly, don't you think, Walton? They look really good.
if you thought this week's schedule was weird, wait till next week. On Monday, May 4th, we will have first, second, and then third. On Tuesday, May 5th, we will have periods four, five, and six. And on Wednesday, we will have seventh, first, and then second. On Thursday, May 7th, we will have third, fourth, and fifth. Friday, May 8th, we will have sixth and seventh. This week, we will be taking the park math. Hi South, Miss Mandy here, your health educator. Just wanted to let you know, after seven great years of working here, I'm on to a new job. My last day will be May 8th, so please come by to say goodbye. Thanks. If you're interested in trying out for the dance team, go get your paperwork tomorrow during lunch and auditions are Tuesday at 2.15. If you're interested in coming to the dance show, it would be held Saturday at 7 p.m. for $5 and it's called Bright Lights Big City. That's it for me and hope you guys enjoyed the show and here's a bad teacher joke. In heaven, three great scientists get together and play hide and seek. Einstein, Newton, and Pascal. Newton, Einstein's turn to seek, so he closes his eyes. Students of South High School, I'm here. I've replaced the teachers. They're gone. You have my jokes now. The good jokes. I tried to walk up a hill once, but I had neither the time nor inclination. Who is this Rorschach guy, and why does he keep painting pictures of my parents fighting? <laughs>